Welcome, my name is Jordan Sullivan and today I'm with Karen Normandin. Um, Karen, could you please say your title and what kind of things students could come to you for? Well, I'm happy to join and thank you so much for uh, asking me to join you today and to join your fellow TRIO students um, virtually. So my name is Karen Normandin. I am the Dean of Students here at KBCC. Um, I have been with the institution for 31 years. Um, started out the TRIO program. That was, my, that was where my heart was um, and still is. Um, I also have a couple of other responsibilities. I am the Vice President of the college, so I have administrative duties. Um, I oversee financial aid, admissions, and all of the support services. Uh, so the TRIO program falls under, under my side of the house. As far as what students would come to me for, I think that's pretty, I would tell you anything. You know, um, if I can't help you, I know who can. And I know I can sometimes cut down on the number of times you get, you know, bounced around from phone to phone or person to person. Um, primarily, I, um, I, I deal with any, any student concern, um, issues that students are having, financial stuff, scholarships, transportation monies. I oversee the student code of conduct, so it's pretty diverse. Yeah, um, so how could students contact you online? Um, like how could they reach you through email or telephone? Okay, so through email, my email address is um, K Normandin, so it's K-N-O-R-M-A-N-D-I-N at kbcc.me.edu. Um, my desk phone, which rings right at my desk, you don't go anywhere else, you come directly here, is 453-5019. Um, I'm also on the student app, I monitor Facebook, and um, we do Teams a lot, so if students wanted to call me up on Teams, that would be great too. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um, so now, if we were to go back to campus, um, how could students reach you in person? That's a really good question. Um, I'm going to give you what I think is going to happen. As I said to you when we were we were kind of doing our little social stuff at the beginning, um, we're not 100% sure yet of, of what our plan is going to be. Hopefully by next week we'll be at that point. It is looking like if students need a service and need the face-to-face -face contact, that we're probably going to do that, Jordan, by appointment. So a student can call and, and I can make an appointment, so I'm expecting the student and we can kind of control the number of people that are over here in the enrollment center that way. So I think that I think that's how it's going to work. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so before we wrap up, um, could you tell us a fun fact about yourself? Oh, fun fact. Um, oh, man. I can tell you something that maybe you don't you would think about me. I don't know if it's fun. I find it fun. Um, so one of the things that I absolutely love doing is um, I have an old farmhouse um, and all my years I, I love um, sheet rocking and joint compounding and tearing down walls and roofing. Um, yeah, I'm at my son's house um, off and on putting a new bathroom in for him. So um, I love doing that. I find it very therapeutic. Um, I love creating things and seeing them change, you know. So that's, I don't know if it's fun, but <laughs> I enjoy it. I enjoy it. How about you? What do you like to do? What's fun about you? Um, I don't know. I mean, I do a bunch of everything. I mean, I like to go like four wheeling and mudding. Like I like to really like get dirty in the mud and stuff. And some people yeah. are like, I never see that about you. And I'm like, no, I do. <laughs> yeah. And I wouldn't have guessed that, Jordan. <laughs> um, so before we wrap up, is there anything else you would like to say to the incoming TRIO students? Um, words of wisdom. Let's see if I have something. Um, I think if I were going to leave your, your, your new TRIO students with any one thought, um, that is to share with them that the TRIO program, hands down, is probably one of the finest things that that is available for students on campus. You have dedicated staff who are very, very knowledgeable in every program and every policy and, um, and, and really do care about students being successful. 
So take advantage of everything that TRIO has to offer you. Um, and don't be afraid to, to raise your hand and ask for, for some assistance. There's always someone here, I think, who wants to reach out and help students. Awesome. Well, again, thank you for taking time out of your day to you welcome. You're very welcome. <laughs> Um, and I hope you have a great day and a happy and safe 4th of July. I will, and I hope you do as well, Jordan. And today I'm with Teresa Smith. Um, Teresa, could you say your title and what kind of things students could come to you for? Sure. My fancy title is Director of Advising and Enrollment. And so basically what that means is that um, my job is to convince you to come to school. And now that I've got you here, I get to tell you what to do. Um, but what students would usually come to me for is to help make an academic plan as far as maybe they um, are starting out in health science and want to get into a health program or perhaps they're just starting at KVCC and their ultimate plan is to transfer someplace and so they need to figure out which classes they should take here at KVCC to make sure they transfer to another school. Um, I'm in charge of the SOAR program, so I help to put that together to help folks get oriented to the college. And that's the, those are the major things that students usually seek me out for. Awesome. So how could students contact you online? Like how could they get a hold, you, hold of you through email or phone? The best way to get through to me is usually email um, because I'm checking that almost constantly. So my email is just tsmith. So T S M I T H at kvcc.me.edu can also reach me by phone at 453-5082. And I'm always happy to set up a Teams meeting like this or a Zoom meeting. Um, about the only thing I'm not good at is Google. So <laughs> I don't blame you. I'm not either. Um, so say if we were to come back to campus, um, how can students reach you there? Sure, I'm located in the Fry Building, so that's in the Enrollment Services Center, so it's where financial aid, the business office, admissions, early college for me, all of those offices are located in one area, that's where I am, so you would just come into the Enrollment Services Center and ask to meet with me. Awesome. Um, so before we wrap up, is there a fun fact that you could tell us about yourself? Oh, there are so many. Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, back in my younger and wilder days, I was actually arrested for protesting while I was in when I was in college. I was actually arrested at a political protest, so I have a criminal record, which I think I'm pretty much one of the few people that I know in student services here that does. Wow, that is a fun fact. <laughs> I know, I know, I look so innocent. <laughs> um, so before we do wrap up, would you like to say anything to the incoming KV Trio students? Absolutely. You have made a couple of wise choices. First, you chose to go to KVCC, but secondly, I think most important, you've chosen to be part of Trio. Um, as someone who worked with Trio for 15 years, I know how valuable it is, and you're part of a great new learning community, so definitely take advantage of it. Awesome. Well, again, thank you for taking time out of your day to help us welcome new TRIO students. And I hope you have a great rest of your day and a happy and safe fourth. All right. You too. Take care. You too. Bye. Um, my name is Jordan Sullivan and today I'm with Carrie Dion. Um, Carrie, could you please say your title and what students could, what kind of things students could come to you for? Sure. So my title is Enrollment Student Navigator. Um, and the way I look at it is I basically work with students from the minute they say, I think I'm interested in KVCC and help them answer questions about the college, um, what it would be like to be a student here. I help through the entire application process. And then I help with new student orientation. I work on student employment on campus. So on or off site jobs that are funded through federal work study or we have a pot of money here on campus as well. And I do the behind the scenes stuff on the KV app. Awesome, so how could students contact you online? Like how could they get a hold of you, hold of you through email or phone? Email is awesome. Um, phone, I have an office account. Um, so it's 453-5815 to get me here on campus. Um, but then you can always friend me through the KV app and instant message me there as well. 
Awesome. So say if we were to go back to campus, how could students reach you there? Physically on campus, I'm in the Fry Building. Um, so the building with the wind turbine on the top. Um, and I'm over in the far corner, 103 is my office number. Awesome. Um, so before we wrap up, is there a fun fact that you could tell us? Fun fact. Um, so a lot of you guys met my children this summer because I was working, or yeah, until this last spring I was working from home. Um, so I have a 10, 5, and 4. I spent the spring homeschooling and working from home full time. Um, love to bake. I like to have fun. <laughs> Um, so, um, as we wrap up, is there anything you would like to say to the incoming TRIO students? I think as hard as it is, ask your questions. Um, I remember when I went to college and I had this, I'm supposed to know attitude. So I didn't ask simply because I thought people were going to say, well, why don't you already know that? But I was first generation. My parents didn't go to college. Um, my dad has a high school diploma. My mom is still deciding whether or not she would like to get a GED. Uh, she's been a stay-at-home mom her entire life, so I was the first to go on to college. So when I got on campus, I honestly just put my head down and thought, I'm supposed to know all of this. And it failed miserably. <laughs> so um, it took me a little bit to grow up and be a little more vocal, but now that I ask my questions, life goes a lot easier. Awesome. Well, again, thank you for taking time out of your day to help us welcome new TRIO students. And I hope you have a great day and a happy and safe fourth. Excellent. Thank you. You too. <laughs> Bye. Um, my name is Jordan Salvin, and today I'm with Sharon Coolin. Um, Sharon, could you please say your title and what kind of things students could come to you for? Okay. Hi. Um, I'm a financial aid navigator in the financial aid office and students can email me if they have any questions at financialaid.kvcc.me.edu or they can give me a call at 453-5130. If they need help, um, have FAFSA questions, if they need help figuring out what documents they need for their financial aid, or if they need help filling out their loan request form or deciding whether or not they need loans, all sorts of things like that to do with financial aid. Awesome. Um, so how could students contact you online? Like how could they reach you through email or telephone? I know you kind of stated it already with the financial aid, <laughs> um, like a telephone number they could reach you at. Yes. The telephone is 453-5130. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I, the email again is financialaid at kvcc.me.edu. Awesome. Um, so if you're allowed to come to campus, um, how could students contact you or reach you there? Um, we're in the front, located in the Fry building. At this time, we are still close to students, but. Awesome. Um, so before we wrap up, could you tell us a fun fact about yourself? Um, well, I enjoy working in my garden in the summer, and I enjoy attending my teenage daughter's sporting events. We travel all over the state for that, so we're pretty busy with that. Um, um, so before we actually do wrap up, um, would you like to say anything else to the incoming TRIO students? Sure. I would love to welcome the new and returning students to KVCC. I hope you all have a positive experience here, and I hope you'll feel free to reach out to us in financial aid if you have any questions. Awesome. Well, again, thank you for taking time out of your day to help us welcome new TRIO students, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Okay, thank you. The same to you, Jordan. Thank you. Bye. So, welcome. Um, my name is Jordan Sullivan, and today I'm with Chris Hansen. Um, Chris, could you please say your title and what kind of things students could come to you for? Um. My name is Chris Hansen. I'm the Director of Student Records and Registration here at Kenny Beck. Um, people come to us for transcripts, scheduling, um, copies of records, that sort of thing. Awesome. Um, so how could students contact you online? Like how could they get a hold of you through email and telephone? Okay. Uh, here in the Enrollment Center, my direct line is 453. 5128 
And my email is C Hansen, H A N S E N, at kvcc.me.edu. Awesome. Thank you. Um, so now I know President Hopper sent out the thing stating um, KV's uh, regarding returning back to fall. Um, how could students reach you there, like on campus? Um, actually, I'm in my office, so they can call that direct line at 453-5128 and or send me an email. Awesome. Um, so before we do wrap up, is could you tell us a fun fact about yourself? Fun fact about myself. Um, I guess the thing is I'm a, I'm a native Mainer. I was born and brought up here in Maine. I worked out of state for a number of years and I actually got to come back. So it's kind of like one of those living the dream things coming back. Um, in fact, uh, I last worked down in Connecticut and I'm so thankful to be up here now when you look at the events going on in our world right now. I can relate to that because I came from Connecticut, so <laughs> I can totally relate on that aspect. There you um, go. So before we do wrap up, is there anything you would like to say to the new incoming TRIO students? Uh, just make sure you utilize your TRIO advisors. Uh, they are helpful. Um, they're usually uh, very quick to respond. Um, and I've always found them very supportive of the students. So don't forget to see your advisor. Awesome. Well, again, thank you for taking time out of your day to help us welcome the new TRIO students. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. You too. Enjoy. <laughs>
Awesome. Well, again, thank you for taking time out of your day to help us welcome the new TRIO students, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks, Jordan. You too. So, welcome. My name is Jordan Sullivan, and today I'm with Christy Johnson. Uh, Christy, could you please say your title and what kind of things students could come to you for? All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Uh, Christy Johnson, Director of the Learning Commons. What that entails is academic services, which is tutoring. Um, we have teas, workshops, and study materials for that as well. We also have technology services, so you can come into the Commons, um, and we will be open this fall uh, to use the copying, the printing technology itself. We have iPads that you can check out, and sometimes we have laptops, depending how many we have, that you can also check out. And then we have library services. Um, all in one location. And we also have counseling and disability in there as well. Awesome. Um, so how could students reach you online? Like how could they reach you through email or telephone? So email is cjohnson2, the number two, at the kvcc email.me.edu. Uh, that's the best way. Phone number is 207-453-5084. And also, uh, starting in the spring semester, last spring semester, we do have a course that's going to be in Brightspace, which is the learning management system, and that is the Learning Commons Online. All of our tutors are in there, uh, the um, library services are in there as well, and I'm in there. Um, so that's another area anyone can go and get information or resources as well. Awesome. Um, so say if students were to come to campus, um, how could they find you there? So I'm in Lunder 129. Normally I'm on two campuses, but uh, due to the situation we're in right now, it's a one. I'm right in Lunder 129, but they can not come into the Commons. As of right now, our Commons um, in Lunder on the Fairfield campus uh, is open Monday through Thursday from 9 to 4 and then Friday 9 to 12 we are open so students can walk in at, after they go through security to get in uh, with the app um, can come into right into the commons and they can either find me or a student worker that'll be there during those times. Awesome so before we wrap up could you tell us a fun fact about yourself? A fun fact? Um, I guess a fun fact would be that I've lived in 10 different states around the uh, United States. Yeah, so it's been a fun oh. experience. Yeah, so I got to see a lot. I only have seven more states to go to visit. So oh, I guess that would be my fun fact. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so before we do wrap up, is there anything else you would like to tell the incoming KV Trio students? Well, welcome. Good luck with everything. And we're here for you. Um, we have a lot of Trio themselves have a lot of resources. Um, but beyond that, we have a lot of resources um, on the entire campus. You can ask anybody anything, any staff, and they'll give you the answers um, or point you in the direction you need to go. And we want you to be successful, and we can't wait till you're here. My name is Jordan Sullivan, and today I'm with Janie Durr. Um, Janie, could you please say your title and what kind of things students can come to you for? Sure. Well, first off, I just want to say, you know, welcome to the TRIO family. Uh, I have a little bit of history um, in terms of TRIO. I worked for a TRIO program at another campus. So guess what? I got TRIO blood pumping in me. And I know that with the connections you're going to make in TRIO uh, and the encouragement you get there, then you're going to be more successful. You've got this support team surrounding you. And there, there's interesting things that happen. I, I, I could guarantee you that during your college career, um, you're going to get sick, your car is going to get sick, your wallet's going to get sick, maybe you're, someone in your family is going to get sick, something is going to happen. Well, when those barriers come up, when those stressors come up, these are the people that you can reach out to. You know, KVCC and TRIO, we, we both pride ourselves in being really responsive to student needs. So that, that's my, my TRIO family welcome. <laughs> uh, my name is Janie Durr. I am the Director of Student Life, which means I get to have fun every single day. Uh, I try to help support student clubs like the 3D Print Club, the Nursing Club. We just got a new respiratory therapy um, student club. We've got this election club uh, going on. Um, and we have, uh, as always, Student Senate. The thing that I, I really want you to understand is that TRIO students are the most active students on campus, right? 
And so at this really crazy, um, pivotal time with, when the world is filled with uncertainty, I, I'm some calling out for your help right now because what we need to try to do with our campus community is really help people feel both safe and connected. And your voice, your participation can be a part of making our campus community feel alive and connected. So please don't hesitate to reach out to me with an idea about an event or maybe a club that you'd like to start or maybe joining one that already exists. I'll tell you that um, our student senate, you know, we had two trio members um, on the student senate last semester and they both graduated. So totally breaking my heart there. So I'm certain like someone from your group is going to step up and, and really let your leadership shine brightly. So I look forward to meeting and connecting with you either virtually or on campus, whichever way it plays out. Um, I can be reached at jdurr at kvcc.me.edu and that's my email and that gets us connected and then we can decide, you know, do we need a virtual meeting, do we need a phone conversation, are you going to be on campus and maybe you want to participate in a yoga program we're going to socially distance do, you know, so we can get connected that way. I want to thank you again for this opportunity. Awesome. Well, thank you for taking time to do this. Um, so you already kind of partially answered my next question about how students could reach you online. Um, but is there a telephone number that they can reach you at as well besides your email? Oh gosh, you're going to put me on the spot here of knowing what this phone number is. Uh, uh. I'm known for putting people on the spot, so. <laughs> okay. How do I find out what my phone number is? Okay. 207-509-6185. And you can text there or you can call there and I can answer your questions. That uh, helps? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, if, so I know President Hopper sent out um, a thing regarding like campus and coming and returning for fall. Um, so how could students reach you in person if they were to go to campus? So uh, we would have to be quite distanced from each other. So someone can stand in my office doorway. I'm in April 107, um, the April Student Services area. Yeah. Awesome. So they can uh, stand in my doorway. Unfortunately, they cannot <laughs> come in and sit down. Well, I mean, standing in the door is just as good as sitting and stuff. I mean, they could always pull out a chair and just sit in the doorway. That could be too. I would do that. Um, so before we wrap up, could you tell us a fun fact about yourself? Well, I have a beautiful dog named Rosie, and I wish I could bring her to campus every single day. Um, she is going to be five, and I've had her um, two years now. So. She, not, I rescued her, um, but I think she rescued me as well. Oh, I love those stories. Oh. Um, <laughs> so before we wrap up, um, would you like to say anything else to the new TRIO students? I just uh, I jump out of your comfort zone and, and just do something different and new um, and try something, you know, just try something to get connected. You'll, you'll grow even further if you do. And I'm sure that you can explain as well, Jordan, you you jumped out of your shell quite a bit. Yeah, I did. <laughs> um, but again, thank you for taking time out of your day to help us welcome the new TRIO students. I appreciate it and I know they will appreciate it just as much. Um, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Awesome, take care everyone. Bye. <laughs> Welcome, my name is Jordan Sullivan and today I'm with Melissa Clement. Um, Melissa, could you please say your title and what kind of things students can come to you for? Sure, yeah. So at KBCC, I am the Counseling and Disability Services Coordinator. So I am the sole counseling center. I'm the counselor at KV and students can come to me um, if they want personal counseling for stuff related to school and the stress that school may bring. Um, but most of the students I meet with have stuff going on outside of school that they want to come and, and talk with me um, about. It's a free service, um, which I really love love to be able to say that. So any student even taking just one course um, is welcome to, to use the service. 
Um, the second part of my, my role is the disability service coordinator. So I'm the first point of contact for students who are requesting accommodations for their classes. So if you're a traditional student coming right from high school, you may have had an IEP in high school. Um, I would be like the equivalent um, for college. It, things are a little bit different for um, students with disabilities in college and they're in high school. Um, but I am that first point of contact and can get the students started on what they need to do for first steps to be able to try to get some, some assistance. Awesome. Um, so how could students contact you online? Like how could they reach you through email or through the phone? Yeah, so um, I am doing a combination of on campus um, office time and, and still working from home. Email is probably the best way to reach me. Um, M Clement at kvcc.me.edu um, and also at disability at kvcc.me.edu. If you go to the web page under, uh, under student services, all my contact information is there as well. Um, and students can look to see emails from me during the beginning of each semester around um, what services might be available. So they, they might be able to do even a quick, quick um, a search in their email and search for my name or like counseling services and it should pop up that way too. Awesome. Um, so now if we were to go back to campus, um, how could students reach you in, in, uh, in person? Yeah, so my office, uh, my primary office is on the Fairfield campus. Um, in room 130, 130 Lunder Hall. So it's where the learning commons is. It's where you might have taken your Accuplacer um, and um, where there's also tutoring that takes place in that building. I can also go to the Alphon campus as needed. And so I've done that in the past, depending on what the student's needs are. If you're a student that can only go to that campus and maybe doesn't have transportation to the Fairfield campus, I try to accommodate student schedules. Um, a typical day for me is, is pretty busy. And it, if you're looking to meet in person, um, it is best to start by, by emailing or giving me a call, um, just because I wouldn't want you to come to my office and I may be in session with a student and typically would be like back to back to back on in, in any given day. Um, so the best thing to do is to set up a meeting just because I don't want you to come and, and expect me to be in my office and I'm busy. Um, if I am meeting with a student, I'll have a little sign on my door that just says, please don't interrupt. Um, but yeah, hopefully that'll be sooner than later. Hopefully. <laughs> I know. Uh, so before we wrap up, could you tell us a fun fact about yourself? Yeah, so I, I knew you were going to ask this question, and so I thought of a few things. One thing is I'm a first-generation college student, so that's awesome. pretty cool, yes. Um, and a uh, fun fact, so when I was a baby, I was actually held by Muhammad Ali, the famous boxer, in, in a California airport. So That's so cool. I'm actually yeah. kind of jealous about that one. <laughs> yeah. Um, so before we wrap up, is there anything else you'd like to say to the incoming TRIO students? Yeah, just welcome. Keep moving forward. You know, you're going to encounter all kinds of challenges through this. Things are going to get hard. But, you know, it's a great opportunity to realize, like, how resilient you are and how much you can push yourself. And, and you're going to go beyond, far beyond what you could even expect. So. Awesome. Well, again, thank you for taking time out of your day to help us welcome new TRIO students. And I hope you have a great day and have a happy and safe fourth. Thanks, Jordan. You too. Bye. Bye. I'm with Tug McDonald. Um, Tug, could you please say your title and what kind of things students could come to you for? Well, I'm Tim, or Tug McDonald. Uh, I'm the Director of Safety and Security here at KVCC, uh, and we are available for questions of all sorts. Uh, anytime, obviously, you feel unsafe on campus, you can reach uh, my department by calling 453-5811 or KV11. Uh, from any of the campus phones, it's just a 5811. That'll ring to uh, five different phones, the, the duty officer on both campuses, as well as the office on both campuses and my own cell phone. Uh, so we are available if you are on campus and you have a question as to where to go or how to get there. If you have a question on access, how to get into the building or out of the building, uh, <clears throat> we, are, we are there for that. If you have uh, any needs, uh, 
any safety concerns, any questions of, about safety, uh, COVID, COVID related or otherwise here on our campuses, uh, we're here for that. If you're here late at night and you need somebody to walk you to your car, we're here for that. Uh, we provide uh, all measures of safety and security. If, if you have somebody bumps your car in the parking lot, if you need a parking permit, uh, we're, we're the ones you call. Awesome. So I know you kind of already stated your phone number and everybody else's phone number, um, but is there an email students could get you, like they could reach you? Yeah, security at kvcc.me.edu. Uh, those will come right to my inbox. Uh, and again, the, the phone number is, is 5811 and that rings to everybody. Awesome. Um, so say if students were to come on campus, where could they find you? Well, we have two offices. Uh, I am typically in Fairfield, uh, but we have an office in the Fairfield King Hall lobby in room 113. Uh, as soon as you walk in the door, we're right there on the left. And on the Alphon campus, we're in the Averill building, the same thing. You walk into the lobby and we're there on the left in room 123. So we have an office on each campus uh, and officers on both campuses from 7.30 in the morning until we close at night, whatever time that turns out to be. Awesome. So before we wrap up, is there a fun fact that you could tell us about yourself? Uh, a fun fact. I had a chance to be a professional wrestler. No, you didn't. Really? Down, I did. I had a chance to wrestle for the Eastern Wrestling Alliance. Uh, I'd have been getting uh, beat up by Tony Atlas on a regular basis. Huh. Uh, I actually so, didn't know uh, that. I made friends with one of the founders of that uh, organization, and, and they wanted to hire me on. Uh, but unfortunately, it didn't, didn't fit with my schedule at the time. So. Well, that's interesting. Um, so before we do wrap up, is there anything else that you would like to say to the incoming TRIO students? Well, uh, I've had a lot of officers who were TRIO students. We employ student officers and we're hiring. Uh, so uh, we've been big supporters of the TRIO program. It's a, it's a wonderful program. Uh, I've seen so many people succeed because of it. So take every advantage that you can of it. Uh, <clears throat> and again, if, if you're doing something and you need help, uh, even if it's somebody to lift the other end of a table, we're happy to jump in and help. Uh, just give us a call or stop by the office. And feel free to stop by and say hi when, when you're passing by. And we'll be at the welcome tables this fall. 